guess today is a marathon or something they're running in my uh, hometown here. <laughs> Town where my home's at, not really my home. Yeah, today is the illustrious Spring Fest. That's the day when everyone comes together in the square and has funnel cakes, goes to a dunking booth. But I'm trying to work around that. Which is driving around the circumference of my town to get to the other side, which is only like a mile across. It takes 10 minutes instead of 30 seconds. Here's our York system package unit. Kind of uh, a little bit over 10 years old, I think. Let me go ahead and open up our panel here and take a look at our old controller. This is our old ignition controller, SD9120C 2002. And it just wasn't doing its job, so it's got to go. Uh, whenever the limit tripped, it would not put the protocol in place to shut off the gas valve and run the combustion blower and indoor blower constantly. It did the indoor blower constantly, uh, but it wouldn't do the other items. So we're going to switch it out so we don't burn down the house. There's our old controller and our old limit switch. Say goodbye. Here's our new controller, open model, the low voltage connections, some of the relays there. There's our lower speeds. Now on the top you have our inducer motor up here. And we're about to fire up and see how she works. There's our flame rollout right there. You see the other side of it in there. So let's see what she does. All right, so now all of our stuff is in place and I want to simulate a heat call. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go from Y at the low voltage, not Y, sorry, W at the low voltage connection to white wire over to the transformer hot and that'll start our call for heat. As you see, our white wire is connected. I have my other lead here. I'm going to clip on to the red from the transformer, our hot, to initiate our heat call. All right, we're down there lighting the pilot, and then it lights the main burner. All burners are firing. We'll let it run for a minute. Then I'll pull out the switch, or pull out one of the leads to indicate that the limit has failed as a test. Okay, our burners are still on there. Confirming that the blower is on and running at the proper amperage. 2.3 amps on heat speed. It's good to go. So we'll let it run for a second, then I'll uh, pull out one of the leads on our limit rollout how she reacts. Our limit switch tripped, shutting down the main burners, and that makes me very happy, and that means that our board transfer is a success. So our safety before was not in place, so if the limit would have tripped, we would have had no stop in the gas flow, we would have had no stop in the burners, and, and we would have uh, theoretically burned our unit up and possibly our house, because if the blower failed to cause the limit trip, because the limits are all on the string. There's two inside the chamber down there, and there's one up here, so if one of them fails, they all fail. So it keeps the house from not being burned to the ground. And they're restarting the cycle. We have a light. We're going to see the hot surface igniter light the pilot, and the pilot light the main burner. There we are back in place and we are good to go and happy campers. All right, I let the system run for five minutes just to make sure everything was okay. Everything is okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna end the call for heat by taking the lead off of the transformer. And these are run for about five seconds. And then the blower will run for whatever the delay set to, I don't really remember. Uh, so that's about it. Everything's working great. I'm a happy camper, it's Saturday, so I'm gonna go home.